misery. I never wanted to do it. I was frustrated. She pushed me. Upon everything she did, she kept insulting me. It really did get to me. It got to me so hard. It was a mistake, and this mistake I keep regretting. I regret everything, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is my confession. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as the title says, I'm going to be telling you on how I killed my best friend. You see, most times I don't even regret it. Most times I do. But she forced me to. What could I have done? This way I'm hot. So, I'll just tell y'all how it happened. On the 25th of May 2015, I had the best friend called Cynthia. She was like a sister to me. I told her everything and she told me everything too. We never kept a secret between ourselves. So one day, we were in, we were in school, yeah. We had a new classmate. His name was Kelvin. The guy was really cute. It was a very cute guy was tall dark and handsome just my kind of guy and I told my best friend Cynthia I liked this new guy and she told me to go for him so I had to start showing Kelvin I liked him I helped him with his assignments because then I used to be the class prefect so whenever Kelvin doesn't come to school I always had his back. I covered him up. I gave one excuses. I always marked him present even when he's absent. Only because I really liked him. But Kelvin never even, he didn't even give me any attention. He just acted like I was some ghost. But I kept trying because I really did like him. I did everything I could. I got him gifts even when he doesn't even want it. I forced him to accept it. I did stuff for him. So one time, my mom traveled and I was the only one at home. So I told my friend Cynthia to come spend the night with me or stay some days with me since I'm just the only one at home. So Cynthia came. She came to spend the night. So when she came, it was a Friday and she insisted we go out to have fun since our mother, my mother wasn't around. So that Friday night, we went out to have fun. Unfortunately for me, Kelvin was there. It was like God's plan. I was happy and I told Cynthia, I was like, hey Cynthia, see Kelvin. And she told me to go meet him there. So I went to meet Kelvin and I asked him for a dance. Firstly, he didn't want to. But later we did dance. It was a good feeling, a very good feeling. You can't even imagine how I feel that night. So after everything, let me just fast forward it. I and Kelvin stayed dating. He was my first love. I was very, very happy. I gave him my all, like everything. And I told Cynthia, my best friend, hey Cynthia, I and Kelvin are dating now. Then she was like, really? I was surprised because I wanted her to be happy with me but I never knew she had her head was full of jealousy. She was jealous. She was like really. I'm like Cynthia, why are you really? Why? You mean to be happy with me or happy for me rather. But I don't know, she wasn't. Then she kept telling people bad things about me. Cynthia changed totally after I told her I can't remember dating. She went Telling people bad things about me, telling people I f around, telling people I sleep around. She went to tell Kevin I slept with his best friend. 
she told Kelvin she's about me that I'm a player, I'm this, I'm that. The only thing I needed from him was his money. But all that was a like, why was she doing that to me? Why was she trying to spoil my image in school? I wasn't even free. Whenever I'm walking to the class, everyone just looks at me and laughs at me. They say bad things about me. Even my best friend too was shit. Kelvin kept telling me things about Cynthia, but I never believed because I never thought she could do something like that to me. I took her as my sister because... So Kelvin wanted to prove to me then because he kept telling me things she does and I never believed. So one night she invited, one night he invited Cynthia to his house. He made a video and they had something that night. So the next day, he showed me the video of both of them. I was hot. I told Kelvin, why would you sleep with her just because you're trying to prove to me something? I was hot. I was deeply hot because Kelvin was my first love. He was, he was someone I gave my all. I never loved. Kelvin was the only first person. He was the first person in love. I was hot. I cried. Sorry. So the next day, that was on a Saturday, I was trying to make something to eat because I was hungry. Then since I came to the house, yet the door was open, she came to the house and I told Cynthia, Kelvin told me you guys did something. Why would you do it to me? She didn't even act like it was nothing. She was like, and so. I was like, Cynthia, why are you and so? Why, why? And she kept insulting me, telling me, so you think I'm just like, she was like, so she thinks I'm gonna have Kelvin. She was just saying shit like that. And I was like, why would you? Are you serious right now? You knew what I did to have Kelvin. You knew. You knew how everything went and she didn't even act like it was nothing. She kept insulting me too. I told her to go away because she's really frustrating me right now. I don't want to do what's on my mind. But she kept telling me to do my worst. I was trying to control myself because I have temper. She kept insulting me and telling me what can I do. Please, I was just caught in the onions. I don't know how I threw the knife to her. It was a reflex action. I don't know how it happened. I swear it was a mystery. It was just a reflex action. I don't know. I told her to leave me alone, but she kept insulting me. Then I, the knife stopped her though. At the side, the left side. I tried waking it up. I tried waking my best friend up. But nothing, she was gone. I didn't know what to do. I was scared. <laughs> so that night, I had to drive my mom's car because she, she left one of her cars. I went to a bush and I threw her there. I couldn't tell anyone because I was so scared. We kept looking for Cynthia. I kept like I was I acted like I was looking for her as well, even though I know I killed her. After two days I found Cynthia in the bush where I threw her. But I denied I was the one who threw her there. So no one ever suspected me because I was her best friend. Now, that was how everything died. These days I can't sleep. I keep seeing her in my dream telling me to go and confess unless she's going to kill me. I swear I was hard. She forced me to. I didn't want to. It was just a reflex action. I thought I had to leave me alone, but she kept frustrating me, and that was how I threw the knife. Please, 
I'm sorry, mommy. I know you're going to sing this and you're going to be offended. Please, I'm sorry. Cynthia's mother, Auntie, I'm sorry. It was just a mistake. Cynthia forced me to. She took my boyfriend away from me. My subscribers, please don't hate me. Please. I know the funny thing about this story is that <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> Please, it's a lie, okay? I didn't kill anybody. I'm not a murderer. Ha! I think, I can, I think I'm a good actress, right? Rate me 1 to 10. I rate myself 10 or 5. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, please, this is just a story, okay? I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> but I hope you got to enjoy the story, okay? Like, I'm feeling like some actress B. Please, thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> thanks for watching. See you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.